Good morning, good people. This is your Poolproof Wisdom Moment, Friday edition. You know, it's always been said, everybody's a critic, but that has never been truer than today when everybody, regardless of their ability to understand, learn, or appreciate what they criticize, feels compelled to have something to say about everything and everyone. And you know, for a lot of people, that means that they fear giving themselves an opportunity to even try because they don't want to be criticized. I'm here to tell you on this Friday morning, you do your thing. No matter what the risk there is of someone being critical of whatever you do, do your thing. Do it unapologetically. Do it with vigor and zest. And don't ever let anyone convince you that if your thing doesn't work for them, that there's a reason it shouldn't work for you. You are powerful beyond measure. You know why? Because you have the right, the opportunity to self-determine what you're going to at least try before deciding whether or not it is a failure. And as you know, Everything that may be perceived as a failure is still a lesson in disguise. If you take the opportunity to learn from that lesson and continue to do your thing without apologizing for it, the critics fall into nothingness, good people. Because that's what critics really are there for, isn't it? They're there to try to steal the joy that you may find and certainly and without, again, apology, living your life doing what brings you happiness, making a choice that is uniquely your own and your right to make. Critics are about making people feel that there's a reason not to shine, to bring people down instead of lifting them up. Critics are not necessarily a friend nor a foe. What they tend to be is an irritant. And each of us has the power to decide how much we're going to let those irritating critics of anything and everything we do get under our skin. This is a measure of importance that I cannot preach enough because when I see what's happening where people are bullied and called out of their name and react to strangers they've not even met simply because those people criticize them, it breaks my heart. But if you don't let these people do to you, what they want to do to you, you are the person in power. Here's a trick that I employ. I tell people all the time, if the person who is criticizing you is not someone that you love and who loves you, don't give a damn about what they think. It doesn't matter. What difference does it make what some idle stranger thinks about what you do? And sometimes people, even if they are people that you love and who love you, You've got to ignore their criticism as well, because everybody who is a friend or a family member doesn't always have your best interest at heart. So that's the message for this Friday, this weekend upon us, where we're about to go out and do the things that make us happy. Do it on your own terms. Do not let the critics decide for you what your life means, how it matters, and what brings you joy. But in the process, good people, don't let anything they say or do bring you any level of pain. And that is your Poolproof Wisdom moment for today. Find my Poolproof Wisdom podcast on platforms everywhere. You can find my books on PoolproofBooks.com, on Amazon and online booksellers everywhere. And the third book in that series, I Am My Own Cause, The Third Act, Surviving and Thriving on Audible. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, go out, get out, and have a great weekend. Take care, good people.